What's up guys, I'm David here. So today's a little different, as you can see, I'm actually inside my house and not in outside. And the reason for that, let me just close this door really quickly. The reason for that is because it's really windy and a lot of the videos, there's a lot of place, times that it becomes just too, too noisy and the wind, you can hear the wind. And so I, I wanna make sure that it's, more clear for you guys so you can hear the audio stuff like that so we can try recording here hopefully it's doable sorry if there's a little bit of an echo you can hear that myself but let's give it a try i got my 10x hat on just because i want to cover my hair as um i didn't comb so i was like i gotta make it look somewhat decent presentable for you guys so t anyways today i want to talk about um using your job or finding jobs that will increase your skills. Now I know a lot um, of the things I talk about is, you know, don't, don't work nine to five, don't, you know, just get a job and try to retire the old fashioned way. But if you're gonna work, which I recommend you should work, especially if you're young, go out there and work, develop these skills. See, I personally, I've worked customer service. I worked a little bit of cold calling sales. And I gotta tell you, customer service, if you ever have the opportunity to work at a fast food restaurant or any kind of place where you just gotta deal with customers every single day, any kind of a retail situation, go for it. If you're young, if you're, you know, if you're in your 30s, don't do it, they don't pay much. But you know, if you're starting out, if you're 18, 20, go for it, try it. Because, see, the one thing that there is, is not only do you learn customer service, you learn how to deal with your emotions, you learn how to take care of, because there's constantly situations. People are constantly mad at you. People always have something to complain about. Every day, I mean every day, there's a situation. People complaining, people mad, every day. But once you figure out how to, how can I deal with these customers, how can I provide the best customer service, it becomes a great fun job and you learn how not only present yourself better and when someone else messes up, let's say in line, messes up your order as you're getting your own food, you start realizing, hey, you know what? It's fine, man, don't worry about it. I've been in your shoes. I get it, mistakes happen, we're only humans. So not only are you increasing your customer service skills, but you're also getting this life experience and you're able to see how whoever serves you anywhere, how they, the kind of pressure they have and the kind of things that they're going through and dealing with. So this is a great way, especially to increase your customer service skills because it's something where we're in this era where you need customer service. I mean, customers don't just buy because you have the best products. People, customers want to know that you're there for the customer. They want to know that when they have an issue, you're gonna be there to solve it and they don't have to wait 20 years before they can fix their um, whatever product or whatever issue they have. So customer service is very, very important. Just like sales skills are. So go out there, find a sales job. Hell, you know, if you're working retail, try upsell someone. Try to sell people on buying more. That's sort of the strategies I was implementing. But see, doesn't matter what kind of job you're doing. Learn, pick jobs that will increase your skills and pick jobs that are gonna help you basically get the skills that you need. Especially if you're starting out, if you're in college, if you're in high school, getting out of college, get the skills that are gonna help you become a better person. Get the skills that are gonna make you more valuable in the future and then help you create a better business. So I'm not, I'm not against getting a job. I'm not against working. I think that's the best, op best thing ever. Go out and work, make money, save it, save 40% of your money that you make of your paycheck for investments, for your business, for whatever you wanna do, and just keep working, keep improving those skills. Because these basic, you know, these basic entry level jobs like fast food, yeah, they're not good for your resume, but they help you get customer service skills, help you communicate better, 
help you deal with situations that others just can't. I mean, we've all had bad customer service before. We've all had situations where people got mad at the cashier because they messed up one thing. See, these people, they don't understand what it is to work at these restaurants, to work at this fast food. So work, work at, it doesn't have to be fast food, but work with customer service, work with customers to increase your skills, work with sales, work with whatever you want to do, but find jobs that are going to help you increase your skills that you're going to need in the future. You know, maybe you don't want to be in sales. Maybe you don't want to be in business. That's fine. Then don't even worry about getting a fast food restaurant job. Find a different job. Maybe find a job somewhere in the art museum or in somewhere where if you want to be an artist or musician, find a place where you're surrounded by all music or by arts. That way you can study and you can communicate with people and, and, and learn as you're working. But find skills, especially if you want to start a business and you have an idea. Go, go work at a company that does something similar to what you're trying to do. They're going to help you. I mean, you know, as long as you're not working on your business, as long um, as you're working on your job, depending on what kind of contracts and legal issues that you have, you know, learn your skills. Skills are best learned when you're working and you're working for someone else than going out there and trying to work um, on your own business only to realize that, hey, I, I don't understand this or, hey, I, I could have learned this if I just stuck with my fast food business. Try to open the door, see if the echo helps. So the whole point of this video is just, listen guys, find jobs that will increase and help increase your skills. Doesn't matter what it is, just find a job that's gonna help you increase the skills that you need. All right, so it could be it could be whatever. Doesn't matter. But doesn't but depending on the job, depending on what skills you want to go for, go for it. Find that job. There's tons of jobs out there. Create a job if you need to. But go out there and learn those skills because not only are you getting paid to learn these skills, but now you have those skills for your business. So keep learning. Keep trying to improve your skills through different jobs. Don't just quit your job to go out and work. This was my biggest mistake. I thought I can learn this on my own, but it's easier when you have a business, when you can communicate with customers. It's easier when you can basically take make mistakes at someone else's expense than your own expense. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Find a job that's going to help you increase your skills and make mistakes at work. Because that's not coming out of your paycheck, hopefully. That's going to come out of their paycheck. Hopefully you'll, you know, you'll make them more money than the mistakes you do or else you'll get fired. But don't make, don't try to do this on your own. This is, this is coming from personal experience. Find a job, learn those skills, keep improving on those skills. They're going to help you. And like I said, if you're, if you're younger, go for those customer service kind of jobs. Go for it because they will make not only you a better person, understanding what people have to go through, but it'll help you with all the other skills that you have. It'll help you how to deal with customers, how to uh, deal with rejections, how to deal with different um, ideas and different kind of uh, things that the customer wants. You know, you have a coupon, you have a discount, 50% off, you buy a dozen donuts. They're like, can I get 50% off if I buy six? And of course you can't. Now you gotta deal with them and you gotta somehow tell them, no, that's, that, that won't work. And they'll yell at you and then you'll have to deal with it. It's a great situation to be in. It sucks when you're in it, but it's a great way to see how you respond and what you, what you do. Anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next, vi uh, next video. Peace out.